Hello, I'm back with some more tactic tests and trying to find the best tactic for FM24. This one was requested the perfect 424 by Zims Muller. Also creates FM content. I will put a link in the description below for his channel and the video for this tactic that he's tested on his channel just to show you some other results. If you want to download it, like I say, link for in the description below. If you can't download it for any reason, I will run over the tactic at the end of the video. We do love a 424 on this channel. We tested with three teams, Man City, Brighton, and Luton, and then we put it in a little fun tactic test and league table. If that's something you like or you're interested in, please leave a like, subscribe onto this channel. Enough talking. This is Man City's best learn about restrictions. Let's check out their results. Well, it's a dream start being Arsenal in the Community Shield 3-2, and we also beat them in the Carabao Cup final 2-1. The surprise here, though, is Portsmouth getting all the way to the semi-final. That is a surprise. Well, it was nearly an absolute dream, dream start because they nearly won the FA Cup as well. They lost it, though, in extra time against Aston Villa 3-2. We won the Super Cup, though, with ease beating Sevilla 4-0. Then in the Champions League, we topped our group. We won all six. We finished on 18 points. In the knockout rounds, well, we knocked out Benfica, RB Leipzig. We knocked out Arsenal in the semi-final. We got all the way to the final where we faced AC Milan and we beat them 4-2. This was nearly a dream, dream, dream start. But sometimes all dreams come to an end and we finished second place in the league. We won 26, drew 9, lost 3, scored 117 goals, conceded 44, a goal difference, which is very good, of 73 and a points tally of 87. When I tracked their season, well, they'd never been top. A little bit of a dodgy start. We were second for a bit halfway through. We dropped down to third near the end of the season. Luckily for us, though, three good wins at the end of the season. 4-0 against Fulham, 4-1 against Luton, and a 3-2 win against Wolves. On to some player stats now, and I think this is the most goals I think Harlan scored in FM24 that I've seen. 81 goals. Alvarez with 23. It's scoring a lot of goals. Sis wise Kevin De Bruyne with 28. And the best performer, it's got to be Haaland with a 7.91. And when we look at clean sheets, we've got 20. On to team stats now. Most points per game are 2.29, which is not too bad. Most goals, 117, which is very good. Most shots for, we're top here by a country mile, 749. Fewer shots against, fourth place here, 295, that's good as well. But we're also on most possession. Uh, fifth place here, 57%, which is very good. No dribbles made. Seventh place here was 600. And clean sheets were in sixth place here, but only 12. And fewest conceded, we're in fifth place here, conceding 44 for the season. But it's a really, cup competitions, just the FA Cup and the league. It would have been, like I said, a dream, 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 dream start. It would have been amazing. Still a very, very good tactic. 87 points is not too bad at all. We've got two more teams to go. Let's test it with Brighton. Well, we're going to start with the Carabao Cup. And I'm going to say this is very disappointing. We got to quarterfinal, which is quite good. But we lost on penalties, which is a shame. But it's only against Wayne Rooney's Birmingham. On to the FA Cup now. And in the third round, we beat Tottenham 2-0, which is a good result but we just couldn't beat May United. We lost them on a replay 4-2. And when we check out the Europa League, we topped our group. We won three, drew three. We didn't lose a single game. We finished on 12 points. And in the knockout rounds, we beat Farnoid over two legs. Normally, Liverpool knock us out, but we knocked them out in the quarterfinal. We knocked out Napoli in the semi-final. Well, it's only RB Salzburg in the final. And sadly, though, we lost... 3-1. Well, in the league, it's so disappointing. We finished in 15th. We won 9, drew 11, lost 18, goals for 58, goals against 79, minus 21 goal difference, points tally 38, which is disappointing. When I look at the schedule, I just need to check this out. 3-1 in your Europa League final. Got all the way to Europa League final, which is great. 4-2-4. Um, I suppose you didn't deserve it. They had 17 shots to our 12. Like you can see it, we beat Main City at home 2-1, which is a great result. But then you lose against like Nottingham Forest when you're at home 3-1. Yeah, I just don't know what to say. And when I track their season, they did get as high as 8th, and then it just dropped, dropped off uh, 16th, got back up to 11th, 
dropped off again down to 16th. Then the end, we ended 15. On to player stats now. And top goal score for them is Danny Welbeck with 16 goals. Ferguson with 15. Anzu Fatu with 13. Uh, it's not, not too bad. With Brighton, I've seen a lot worse. Grob with the most assists with 14. As rating-wise, who's the best player? It is Solly March with a 7.01. And clean sheets, defensively, I think this is maybe the problem. We conceded too many. We've only got seven. On to team stats now. And we're on the most goals list. We're on eighth place here with 58 goals. I know we didn't have that many clean sheets, but also I feel we're not scoring enough as well. 58 goals is just not enough in the season. And most shots for we're in sixth place here with 485. And those are the only lists that we're on. We nearly won the Europa League, which we haven't done yet for Brighton. But sadly, we finished in 15th spot with 38 points. Now, let's test it with Luton. Well, let's have a look at the Carver Cup. Well, we got to the third round and we lost against Arsenal. It was away from home, losing 2-1. And in the FA Cup, we went on a little bit of a run. We got to the quarterfinal, but this time it's another top tier team losing 3-1 at home to Liverpool. And when we check out their league progress, well... Surprise, surprise, they've done better than Brighton. We finished in ninth place, which with Luton is really, is really good. We won 18, we drew five, we lost 15. Goals for, we scored more goals as well. We scored 73 goals and conceded 63, a goal difference of 10, and a points tally with Luton of 59. And when I tracked their progress, we were as high as second in the fourth week. We were a 4 0 win against Chelsea. It did drop down after that. We got down to as low as 10th, but we've never been lower than 10th in the league all season. Sixth place, sixth or seventh, I think would have been a fair finish, but they sadly dropped off a little bit near the end of the season and we ended it in ninth. And when we look at their player stats, this is more like it. 25 goals from Carlton Morris, which is excellent. Ross Barkley with 15. Has he got the most assists? He has with 14, a really good season. Is he the best performer in the league? Well, he's got that as well. Ross Barkley having a very, very good season with a 7.25. And clean sheets, well, it's the same seven as Brighton. But I think what they've done, they scored more goals, which has made a massive difference. On to team stats now. And we're on the same list again. Sixth place here on most goals with 73. Like I said, it's more goals than Brighton. And most shots for sixth place here with 494. Luton just taking their chances. A really good season in Man City. Uh, League-wise, okay, maybe it's not the best we've seen. But the cup competition is so, so good. We won't talk about Brighton. And with Luton, a very good season again. Ninth place in the league, 59 points. So all I've got to do now is add up the points and put a little fun tactics league table, which is on its way next. Zims Muller's perfect 4-2-4 comes in the unlucky 13th spot. Let's be honest with this tactic test. Man City and Luton, I think it's a, a two-team tactic test. Disregard Brighton's results because they were absolutely useless. But Luton and Man City done very well. We won 53, we drew 25, lost 36, we scored 248 goals, conceded 186, a goal difference of 62. It won four trophies and a points tally of 184, which is not bad at all. If you can please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't done already, that would be amazing. And if you need the instructions, just carry on watch. Starting off in goal, and we've got a sweeper keeper on support. On the left-hand side, we've got a wing back on support. There will be some add-on instructions. Pause it when need be. On the right-hand side, we've got a wing back on support. We've got a ball playing defender on defend. Alongside another ball playing defender on defend. In front of them, we've got a defensive midfielder on support alongside another defensive midfielder on support. On the left-hand side, we've got inside forward attack. On the right-hand side, we've got inside forward attack. Up front, we've got advanced forward attack alongside advanced forward attack. Tattle style basically is a custom one. Just copy everything here. Mentality, positive. In possession, what do we have? Attack and width fairly wide. Approach play, pass into space. Overlap on the left. Overlap on the right. Focus down the left. Focus down the right. Play out of defence, pass, pass in directness shorter, tempo higher, time wasting never. Let's try and get through this, Tony. Low crosses, run at defence. In transition, what do we have? we got counter press, counter, slow the pace down, throw it long. Out of possession, what do we have? We've got high press line of engagement, standard defensive line, 
trigger press much more often, prevent, prevent short goal kick distribution, get stuck in, and that's your lot. I just, just about got through that with a few mistakes. Thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. And if you want to support the channel even more, or you've got a suggestion of a tactic, leave it in the comments below, or become a patron. That's supporting the channel. That would be amazing. Thank you guys, and I will see you in the next video. See you then.